Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trofinet and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. We're uh, on top of a strider and it seems like we're coming across another corrupted zone. This time with a fire bellow back. That's not really something I had in mind. But yeah, might as well uh, dismount. Maybe let the strider do his thing a bit. Let's quick save and then I'm gonna take on this... Uh, Wow, I think I'm gonna gonna go in stealth for the first few thingies. Because if I can take over a few of these striders to fight alongside me, that would be handy. Oh shit. This thing gets close. If I move over there, I think there's grass over there. Something is spotting me, but I'm gonna quickly go into the grass. I'm visible, apparently. Shit. Oh shit, 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 that was a problem. Where's my strider? There is my strider. Oh, and those things aren't striders. Are those striders? Come on. So they are getting busy with each other. Okay, just saw that coming too late. Let's turn them on fire. God damn it, I can't get up. What the fuck was that? And I died. Okay, so the Tear Blast arrow does destroy its antlers. So if I do this... What? And I just got one hit it again. I'm not gonna try this anymore. God damn it. Holy shit. Okay, so conclusion. We're gonna have to go around this bitch. Jesus Christ. Fine. I'm leaving. Guess I'm not meant for this kind of stuff. Jesus Christ. That was harsh. So whether it was the, the charger or the ballow bag that hit me, I just got one hit it. Unless I dodged and got hit and the damage is reduced clearly. Holy shit. Okay. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. Okay, so these guys are definitely weaker because that one hit me straight on. Why the shit balls? Just gonna hit this one. Oh, 
And I'm just gonna hit it straight in the valley. Let's make some more sh air blast arrows and then with a precision arrow. That was on target. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm in between two of them. This is not good. Take it. Wow, he just tossed that in my direction, didn't he? Just gonna toss a few in there. What the hell was that? What the are these guys helping me? That was my last health kit. Oh, come on. Okay, I'm gonna need more supplies. And these scrappers are attacking me. God damn it. Seriously, fuck off. Goodbye, you. I am not leaving this alone. Come back to Fucking bastard. Look, fuck you. Okay. Um quickly gonna craft some potions. Healing supplies. Lucky. No, that's what I need. And then Take the heavy potions, and now I just want to take this guy out. Is that too much to ask? Why is he not attacking? I don't care. He is attacking. Ooh, wow, okay. Maybe I should use these more often. These are the sharp shot arrows. Oh, come on. Right in between the slots. Goodbye. Whew. Does that explode? Because it looks like it's gonna explode. Damn. And we're not even where we need to be. I thought this was where we needed to be, but... I think the guy that we were supposed to help either died or he left. Not really sure. This place is little with Blaze though. If you want Blaze, I got Blaze. Sound like a drug dealer right now, but yeah. That were two fire ballow bags. Plus 90% damage coil. Hmm. And I have five skill points by the way, so maybe I should uh, invest in those. Extra resources would be nice, but I think I'm gonna go for double shot. And now we have two left, and I think I'm gonna just go for scavenger. There we go. And then in crafting, I wanna modify a weapon, modify my base weapon, and change the damage coil to a 19% damage coil. There we go. Should improve our damage quite a bit. Uh, okay. Jesus Christ. I just started the episode and I'm already at 20 minutes of recording time because of that first encounter in this one. That's fire kiln root, don't really need that. So let's just head to where we need to go, finally, because we're almost there. Seems like there's another robot site as well over there and another campfire. Handy. And that's two sawtooths. Jesus, Mary, Joseph Christ. 
So, go to Red Echoes. We are at Red Echoes, but I'm gonna just quickly gather some medical supplies, because uh, I don't wanna just bank on my uh, health potions there. But apparently just activating the campfire was enough. So stealth is fine as long as I that don't grief. Foreboding sight, go against bigger animals. Did you ever wonder what it used to look like back when the old ones lived here? You're not like other Nora. That's what they tell me. So a very exciting start, but I hope this gets a bit more Your interesting chief? than just combat. Our scouts found enemy camps in the ruins, guarding the approach to the Ring of Metal. Then we should hit those camps first. Make sure they stay quiet. Agreed. Wipe out the camps, and our enemies in the Ring of Metal won't see us coming. I'll take out the alarms. We'll send braves to each camp to lie in wait. Which you start, they'll help finish. Ooh, nice backup. Okay, so we have three camps we need to destroy. Well, take out. One of them is actually pretty close, apparently. So let's head there. Is that... That's a tank, right? That is a rusty old tank. Interesting. Brawled heads. Hostile machine, brawled head, blaze canister, and horns. I'm kind of cutting off uh, Sona's morale speech. Oh, and there's another campfire. Oh, could have probably used that bridge instead of the one I wanted to take here. But never you mind. Let's just get on shore again and I'll quick save over here. May she lay her wrath up solely upon me. Okay, I could probably hack... That brawled head. I think I unlocked that with the cauldron. Where the hell are they? I thought there was one closer to the water, but apparently not. Can I override these guys? Yes, I can. Straight in the face. Okay. Do I... Can I actually give these guys commands? Because that would be awesome. Although these guys just seem to sit there if I ride into battle on a broad head what is this going to do for me seems like there's corrupted machines close by as well so I'm just gonna go over here and then just leave the broad head over there oh that worked out perfectly goodbye that was cool um if I want to take out that watcher though Gonna have to be a bit more stealthy about this. Clear the camps. What the? Why does it put me back? There's clearly guys over here. He's gonna attack the broad head probably. And if I'm smart about this, I could probably take this guy out with a whistle, maybe. I got a broad head here! Oh, fuck me. No, you don't. This guy was aggravated. So yeah, he's just attacking the broad He's gonna have to be careful not to be. Wait, wait, wait. They're attacking the broad head, aren't they? They're not sounding the alarm. Oh, shit. Oh, that was my, uh, my sharp hope I was. Damn it. He's gonna sound the alarm and we're gonna be fucked. The shadow will reach you. Okay. I don't have any supplies left, which is bad. Cause I do like I do I would like if there to be other ways to fill your medical pouch. 
Um, but at least now we learned that hacking a machine and putting it into battle kind of reveals you as well. Which is annoying for some reason. Uh, so let's just go with the, the whistle again and continue on. Seems like there's two more camps over there. I'm not gonna take the broadhead this time. Because that would be bad. What is this? Ancient debris. Ancient vessel Miriam. Ancient black bracelets, chimes and a ring. Okay. A cracked and battered vessel once dear to the old ones bears the legend Miriam. Sets of ancient vessels can be traded in Meridian for valuable rewards. Okay then. I'm gonna have to be careful on my approach here. This piece of the map looks awesome by the way. Don't see anybody close by just yet. Though I see a watcher over there. Maybe... Because they're definitely using corrupted watchers to guard their perimeters. There we go. Here are the graves. And where's the alarm now? Over there in the back. There's one guy over there. On the outside of the... Ooh, there's one over there as well. Short story... Long story short, there's a lot of enemies. Just gonna go around and try to get to the alarm without anybody... ...spotting me immediately. There's one guy walking away over there. Probably won't be able to stealth kill him. Although, if he comes over here, I'm just going to take my chance. Hello, dude. Want to have uh, a spear in the gut? Oh, what the... Okay, that was a nice animation. That was a fancy animation. Hmm. Doesn't look like I can easily jump over there. But I should be able... I wonder what this does. Just fire an arrow at that. What's that going to do? It's gonna pull all of their attention. Quietly. Just gonna craft some arrows while we're at it. Got a body over here. You do? Wait, you can't see that body. That's pretty much impossible. Oh, that guy saw the body. Breathe again. I got a dead body over here. Yeah, you do, but what are you going to do about it? They can fire over here! Goodbye! So yeah, one fire arrow to the back kills these guys. Which is kind of good to know. What the hell is this guy doing? They don't... The fault finding doesn't seem to... Uh, Acknowledge that they need to go. Is that did that trigger me? I don't think it did. Nope. What the fuck? Oh shit! What the hell? Okay, that thing is just making noise now. Just explode. And it seems like there's one move over here, or is that just... That seems to be a watcher. Oh shit! Where the hell did you come from? Yeah, just explode already. And then there's one over there. 
Oh, yeah, that wasn't that wasn't what I wanted to do. I wanted to do some epic jumping. Nope, you shall not. Oh, I'm being corrupted. Where the hell is this still coming from? Steady. Yeah, boy. Okay. We did it. The Nora. So far for stealth. Um. Yeah. So that was the second gap. Jesus Christ, I'm really fucking this up, aren't I? I want to be stealthy, but these guys don't really give me an option to do that. Can I? Can I destroy the alarm still? No, doesn't seem like it. And then this guy is holding slack shine glass, whatever that may be. Another day passing. And I do want to get every bit of potions they're carrying. Not that they are carrying a lot of potions, apparently. But let's head towards the last camp and take all the health I can get. Because yeah, it's starting to do, uh, it's starting to beef up the difficulty a bit. If I just head towards that last camp, that should uh, Save these for the trail. hopefully make for a bit of an episode. Because this has been one fuck up after the other one. The alarm is over there in the middle. And stab. I'm gonna try to make this a bit more interesting than I did the previous camp. I'm just gonna try and stay mobile. This guy is looking the other direction, so I shoot. Okay. I'm tired, but I will endure for the shadow. There we go. Hopefully that makes them interested in that a bit. Gonna quickly check which one I didn't tag. So that's the only one I think I didn't tag. There's one right next to the alarm, I think. Yeah, that one spotted one of the corpses. There's one over here as well. Just checking out the blaze. I think if I just approach from over here. Corp. Ah, he didn't see me. And stab! Oh, so, so, I'm, so, I'm sorry I'm so quiet, but... There's one over there, and then I have free reign on the... What's this guy doing? It's just He's just watching something. I think I can just take out the alarm from here. There we go. Wait, who went down? There's one. Okay. <gasps> no, no. You didn't see me. Okay. This is going rather well. Seems to be somebody. No, you can untag the the generator so I have a better view. As to what is going on here. I'm just gonna loot these guys. So that one is apparently not bothered by me killing pretty much everybody. I'm just gonna hop over here again. To kill that one over there. Then we have this one. Stabbed in the gut. Now we have only one guy. Take a look at this corpse. Oh shit, 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 shit. How the hell did he not see me? This one's dead. <laughs> How the hell did you miss that, dude? Goodbye. Too bad about that last one, but that was pretty, pretty stupid that he didn't even spot me while I was jumping in the water two feet from him. 
But yeah, um, that was, that's how it's supposed to be done. Headshot 30 human enemies, thank you very much. That's how I wanted it to go, all of them, not just that last one. And one of these. So we're arriving at the tallest tower, so that's where we uh, needed to meet Sona and Varl. What the hell? This looks like an old billboard of some kind. The camps have been dealt with. Yes, now indeed. Now to the ring of metal. Its high walls protect the enemy. We'll have to scale the height. Under fire if we're detected. I have another idea. Their base has a weakness. Send me in alone, and I'll exploit it. If I'm successful, I'll blow a hole in those walls big enough for the entire war party to charge through. Sounds like a plan. So long as I get to come with you. Okay, then. chief should be grateful for two arrows so eager to spring from the bow. Yes, Varl. Go with Aloy as her spearmate, but be vigilant. Yes, war chief. I will. Or mother, because you can't forget that these guys are uh, mother and son. That seems to be Go now. We a bit of on stress on the relationship. Thank you, Sona. Gonna have to be careful on this one. Not trigger every enemy inside. But before we go on this uh, revenge journey inside of the ring of metal, we're gonna take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.